What's going on folks, Ted from Nerd Immersion here, and some of you were worried about what you could do to keep your D&D Beyond character as you're going about de deleting your D&D Beyond account or canceling your subscription, and you wanted to know what you could do to kind of maintain. And I do have a separate video planned. I've collated a bunch of responses from all of you about different tools and things you use uh, to keep your, you know, to manage your characters, uh, whether it be online or offline not using D, D beyond um i i for one was using a bunch of other digital options long before i started using D, &D beyond myself but the folks at alchemy have released a newsletter for those of you who don't know alchemy rpg is a virtual tabletop that's not a virtual tabletop but basically they are in stance with all of us where we stand on the uh, the process of the ogl and they are trying to come in and help out folks who are looking to transition. You can actually import your character sheet from D&D &D Beyond into Alchemy right now. I will show you how to do it, but I also wanted to show you the newsletter that they basically just put out a little while ago. So we'll go ahead and come over here and take a look. So it says, need a new tavern for your 5e characters? Get 90 days of Alchemy Unlimited for free. So you'll be able to do that with the links here. Join Alchemy today and get 90 free days of Alchemy Unlimited, which enables you to create an unlimited number of 5e characters and system agnostic characters, or import your characters directly from D&D Beyond. The impending changes to the OGL have made things a little tense in the TTRPG community lately. Many of us are feeling blindsided, let down, and betrayed by those who currently steward this game we all hold so fondly in our hearts. We wanted to send this message for several reasons. One, to present you with an alternative solution for creating, managing, and playing with your 5e characters. To share with you how the OGL 1.1 will affect what we're doing, they have a statement here. Uh, again, the OGL 1.1 didn't come out, but either way. To support the infinitely talented and generous third-party creators on our platform who each wanted to welcome you to Alchemy with a gift. Below, you'll find works from some of our wonderful creators. We have the privilege of calling Alchemy Creator Partners. Click the button to claim your free title on Alchemy, then send each of them some love. So these are all free titles available to you. You have The Shining Shrine uh from helena's guide to monster hunting right here you can click this to get it and then this if you click this it'll actually take you right over to twitter for you to say like hey thanks for that right crabwell from Burrowbound. we have some music here volume music uh 20 d20 from volume 5 we have big bads 1 to 6 from hit point press we have book 1 of griffin's saddlebag we have lord of athera that is alchemy's own uh, the Lost Druid, that's their own campaign setting and adventure. We have Sordane Stories, Legends of Dreadmire. We have uh, some animated maps as well from, I always pronounce his name wrong. I say Chapeku, but that's probably wrong. Deck of Stories from 1985 Games. Wondrous Items for 5e Volume 1 from Dungeon Scribe. Cities and Towns Animated Scenes, that's again for with, with use within Alchemy from James's RPG Art. Ambience 1 Motion Effects, also for that. And again, you can go here and sign up. I'll also be able to provide you a link, um, which will get you, uh, I'll provide a link here that'll get you Nova Rail, which is Alchemy RPG's kind of new starter adventure um, that is using some of their new stuff, which is set in a whole underworld, underwater world. Um, again, I will be able to provide you this for free with a link that's in the video description as well. So I planned to do future content in Alchemy just to show you how it works. And one of the things, if you're unfamiliar, is Alchemy in their marketplace has actually been in the process of importing uh, all of Free League's everything. Everything that Free League's ever done will be available within Alchemy. Again, here's a little bit more just showcasing a bunch of the stuff that's currently available within Alchemy from a variety of different creators. But they're actually in the process, it looks like, Sim Simbarum? I don't know how you pronounce it, but it looks like that's in there from Free League. I know Alien RPG and several others uh, are looking to all be imported. I know they're working with Cobalt Press as well to import Cobalt Press content. Um, we're actually planning to run an Alien RPG stream within Alchemy using all of their motion effects and things like that and the animated scenes and whatnot coming up here in the next couple of months. So keep an eye on that. But... Regardless of all that, if you download Alchemy again, you can get the 90 days free, have unlimited characters, create a whole bunch, and you want to import your character from D&D Beyond, it's really simple. You'll get into Alchemy. Here we are in the main screen here. We're going to go to uh, Library. You can see your games. Here's all of the assets that you may own. Uh, if you were to click on Assets here, everything you have, music or otherwise, and then Characters. 
So you're going to go to your D&D Beyond character that you want to import. This is in my Tiefling Temerity from our evil campaign. You're going to go to share. You're going to copy. Oh, you can't see it because it's above my head. You're going to go to share. You're going to click copy the link, right? Then you're going to go back into Alchemy where it says create character at the top. This is normally where you would add a new character, which you can do if you'd like. You see there's a couple of op options here. You can click import from beyond. Paste your character link here and then hit import character. And you can see Temerity now exists, a level 8 tiefling bard. Here's again my armor class, hit points, my movement speed, my ability score, saving throws, skills, passive perception. I can go to spellcasting, right? Here's a variety of the different spells I have prepared. Here's my description. Again, uh, you know, characteristics, ideas, traits, bonds, and flaws. You can also click this little edit button at the top to get access to some more stuff. We can scroll in and see. We can alter things. Here's all of our proficiencies, whether we have expertise in things. Here's our features, right? Gives us all of our base features. Spellcasting, Bardic Inspiration, Jack of All Trades, Song of Rest, call, Bardic College, Font of Inspiration, Counter Charm, Magical Secrets, and so on. Again, a little bit more about our, our race in here as well. Species now. Uh, as well as feats are listed here as well. We can go into our description. Here's our backstory. Whether you want your backstory to be public or not, allies, ideals, bonds, and flaws. Your, um, your spells, again. Here they are all here, right? Variety of different spells. You can mouse over the spells and or, or click on them and see exactly how the spell works. Uh, and then also we have our equipment, even things like magic items and whatnot. So pretty simple process, as you can see, to import things to your uh, from D&D Beyond here into Alchemy. Again, more content on Alchemy coming soon. Check the, uh, the links in the video description to get access to things like Nova Rail and the other content. Um, and then again, I will be covering how to set stuff up, how to run games, uh, the different content universes that they have. And what's interesting is there's even spectator mode. So you can see right here, uh, like you can actually click on other people's games that are live right now. Some people have them private or not, and you can click into them and they even have like spectator functionality for people to watch the games with in alchemy, uh, and options to possibly have interaction and stuff like that. It's really cool stuff. So definitely worth checking out and again this is a simple way for you to at least take the character sheet that you already have uh and then at least convert it to some form of usability while we wait to figure out what the ultimate genesis of everything is going to be so thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you next time